Hi there and welcome to my first Fishing Planet video for quite some time. I've had most of the summer not gaming or doing any videos at all so this is first time back for quite a long time and in this video I'm going to look at the catapult uh, primarily because there doesn't seem to be any video out there on how to use it. Um, it's also been a request on my channel. Uh, I think probably one of the reasons is that it's a pretty hopeless piece of kit, but anyway, here we go. First of all, you need to select the uh, man icon in the uh, inventory section, and you can see there I've got the Rudolf, um, Rudolf Antlers catapult from the uh, Christmas mission. So that's the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got a catapult there and then this here is the uh, bait slot for the ground bait to go into. So you do that in the same way as you would normally do if you've got some ground bait mix made up. But a little um, tip here is that you can actually just drag the, um, say for example in this case the universal mixture, straight into there. And it'll do the mixing for you there. As you can see, it's just added water to half a kilo for the one kilo of universal mixture. So this is where you put that mixture into that section, either if you've pre-mixed it or you just press the button there. And as you can see, it mixes. And we've now got our um, ground bait in the right slot with the catapult, which could be any catapult, but obviously I've got the, the antlers and there's the ground bait in the slot ready. So if we go to the map, we'll see how what I've done is um, I've just made some markers, which I'll come to in a minute. But the first thing to say is if you've just done that, if you just put that ground bait in, then you'll see on the right hand side the catapult symbol and the little green progress marker uh, showing the loading of the catapult and you can see now the catapult is in hand and if you press and hold the left mouse button it will fire it and on the right hand side you'll see a meter the biggest problem with it is that um, basically that's where it landed the biggest problem is that um, it's impossible or next to impossible to gauge how far it's going to go so the meter moves so quickly uh, when you press and hold uh, that you've just got to guess uh, try to do a short one there and you can see that's that's gone to about where the arrow is now you notice on the bottom right there's actually a number um, up to 35 meters that shows how far the last one went but to give you some idea, I've actually laid out some markers on the right hand side. So the first one on the right is actually at about eight, seven or eight meters. So you will be able to see when I fire this one, you can see the green progress bar going round up at the top right hand corner. And I'm going to fire, you literally just need to press the button and let go almost. And that will go about 8 or 9 or 10 metres, as you can see, it went 8 metres on that particular one. Next marker I'm going to try and hit is the next one along, which is about 14 or 15 metres. And you'll just see the splosh as it lands, uh, just sort of splosh straight, straight in front of where we are. And that hit the 14 metre mark. The next one I set up is about 20 metres, so I'm going to have a go at this one now, and you'll see how far up the sort of bar on the right you need to be, sort of just over a third I would say, that gets you about 19 or 20 metres, and then just over the halfway mark will get you 27 metres, and you just see the splosh land on the end of, on the end of there. Um, so it's n it's really not a fine art at all. It's uh, quite tricky to uh, to do, and um, only really to be used in uh, in emergencies, in my opinion. But there you go. I hope that gives you some idea. The one final thing to say is that if you haven't got it actually selected, you need to press the eight button. 
the 8 button on the keyboard so after the 7 for the 7th rod is number 8 and that will uh, that will give you the catapult and if you then click on one of the other buttons it'll take you off the catapult and onto the other rods as usual. I hope you enjoyed that and um, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.